The French style, French inspired bench seat was constructed in the same way as the chairs. I used my pattern, my sketch, um, to bend and shape the wires to match the pattern. First with starting with the bench seat and then the supports that go across the bench seat. Not that really and truthfully you'd need a whole lot of support for dollhouse furniture, but nevertheless I did need the support for the pad, the chair pads that I will be doing eventually, which I will show you in detail how I did those because, well, I've not seen anybody do it this way, but I'll explain the reason for that when we get there. The bench seat backing was a little more complicated in design than the chairs. And because of that, well, I tried probably four to five different types of adhesive that would bond aluminum together. I ended up using only two. JB Weld, the, the quick grip of JB Weld. What I did not like about the JB Weld is the color. Um, it's a dark blackish gray and you have to use teeny tiny little bits or your little joints there would show. On the back of this bench because there was so much scroll work that I was doing on it I tried a different adhesive. I used Beacon Quick Grip and it worked okay, but I ended up using the JB Weld um, for the rest of the bench. I have since watched some European artists making furniture. And this one in particular was cutting up aluminum and like an aluminum pan and gluing it together. And she was using something called UHU Adhesive for Metal. I found it on Amazon, I have ordered it, and I'm looking forward to trying it once it arrives just to test it out and see if it works. You know, I could have used copper tubing for this furniture and soldered it. I'm familiar with soldering. I've done stained glass, several stained glasses in the past years, but all the copper wire that is typically the gauge that's typically used for dollhouse furniture, it was just, I don't know. It was too skinny looking to me and this gazebo is pretty substantial it's pretty stout so I wanted something thicker looking this flat aluminum wire that I found at Hobby Lobby um, I really liked and also it came in this antique brass which meant save me a step I didn't have to paint it so the way I constructed these backs was to do one half and then you might have seen me matching um, the pieces as I shaped them to the other half because it was really important that they look exactly the same, matching them to my pattern and then matching them to each other. And here in a moment you'll see me using the quick grip, quick grip, which is clear. Um, so there weren't any little black welds on the back of the bench. For the chair and bench pads, I started out um, making myself a pattern from my diagram to cut out the material. And I cut out two pieces and I sewed them together and then turned them and then stuffed them and it just, it just didn't look right. Um, then I tried making like a little 
edge a band and sewed that well it was too thick so this is what I finally came up with I wanted the chair pads to look very professional very fitted um, and exactly match the edge of the chairs and the bench so what I ended up doing was cutting a piece of tag board and on that bottom piece I cut the notch to go around um, the base of the chair back and the bench back so that it would fit snugly but you'd still have pad all around it um, maybe you'll see what I mean here in a minute okay see fitting that my pad goes all the way to the back but then it goes around where the chair back is attached to the chair seat I cut out the material two pieces and on my sewing machine I ran a gathering stitch so that I could pull one cord you don't want to pull them both or you'll you won't be able to gather it at that point you just want to pull one of them the gathering stitch allows uh, you to well gather the material so it's going to fit a curve a whole lot better you could also simply run a gathering stitch by hand just with needle and thread but you'll see how much easier it is you're not fighting those curves when you start to glue now the first thing I've got there is my cardstock I'd cut two pieces and I had glued some what do you call that stuff batting to one side and now using Fabri-Tac I'm going to glue the material to this is the top part of the cushion but I'm going to glue that to it and then you'll see how I finish it with the other chair pad piece also if any of the little gathering thread shows after you've got it all glued you can clip it in places and just pull your threads and it'll it'll just come right out and you've already got it all glued and it's a nice neat finish